What's going on Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams. Welcome back to another video from the Reef Builder Studio. We got Evan up in the house working the camera so I can really focus on telling you about the corals that we got today. This is a uh, brand new box of frags from Jason Fox, if I didn't already say that. And I have a lot of respect for the guy because him and uh, myself and a handful of other reefers um, are the only people, aquarists that I know that have been to various different wild reefs, collected our own corals, and also, you know, taken stock of where on the reef uh, corals come from. And this really informs our reef aquarium experience and our knowledge. So, uh, so yeah, we did a really cool unboxing um, about a week or so ago on the Cali Kid corals. Um, with some really nice LPS and showed you some nice displays in between. So, figure it circle back and uh, unbox some frags. I'm so glad I don't want the man the cameras for this one so I can really focus on what's coming out of the box. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I'll try to impart one little coral reefing tip with uh, each video. And um, one of the ones I'd like to share with you is uh, there's no point in acclimating your corals. The, the, the way that corals breathe through diffusion is acclimation itself. I mean, and maybe unless you have like really freezing or super hot corals, but floating your corals from the local fish store, that's just really a waste of time. Just get your corals in the water. Um, the only thing that I do acclimate would be like clams, shrimp, and fish that have been shipped to me, but fish from the local local store, um, not usually, but especially not corals. So uh, we're gonna get started. We got a brand new little coral tank. I made a nice little uh, frag rack here so my frags aren't laying all over the ground. Um, got some tank water ready to go, and uh, hopefully we can put together a really nice presentation for you. So I am not quite sure what's in the box. I know I always say that, but I really, I really like to leave it up to the vendor to know what about their coral catalog is um, you know really unique and worth showing off so um, with Jason just told him you know I'm looking kind of to fill out my collection of uh, Poslaporas and Seriatoporas all the Poslaporids um, because I just really like their kind of bulbous metallic style uh, tentacles so I'm gonna pull out the corals first I'm gonna place them down here and see what we got. All right, some expert packing as always. Ooh, that's a lot more corals than I even requested, so. All right, we got the bug out Stylophora. I know what that is. Uh, Hydnophora, this is a really cool one. So these are kind of a little bit more of the oddball stuff. Green Mango, a nice smooth skin Acropora. Firewater Hygno. See, Jason knows that you know, him and I both like some of these weird, weirdo things. Rainbow Stylophora also. We've got Snowblind. I can't remember what that is, but we'll find out when we open it. The Steve Garrett uh, Stylophora. This is a bright pink with green polyp Stylophora that I actually already have, but you know, want more for the different tanks. Um, Orange Rim Leptoceros, that's super fun. Psycho Favia, that's uh, definitely one of his picks. The Frankie's Gumdrops, that's pretty cool because it's what I call like a hobby frag from Australia. There's a guy out there, Frankie, forget his last name, but he's participated in Reefstock in the past and he um, does a lot of, uh, you know, kind of unique coral frags for the Australian market. Project X, I think this is also a stylo. A um, couple more. Enchanted Forest. This is actually one that Jason personally collected. A really interesting thick branch bird's nest and a yellow rim lepto. Very cool. So I'm gonna get up off my chair and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open these up together and see what we got. All right, so we already got the corals out of the box. So now I've got a hint of what's in these bags, but I haven't seen the size of the frags or the color or you know some of them i don't know what they are so let's go ahead and get started we got the rainbow stylo here oh my goodness man this thing's packed for a trip to mars Woo there we go just like that and he's one of those vendors that ships their stuff in a nice little plastic cup with some rubber band to hold it in place that ain't going nowhere but it also makes it a little bit tough to get them out Ugh. I guess that's for the best, right? Oh, come on, come on, Jason. What you doing to me? Ooh, 
What is, what the hell, man? This is hard. There we go. Uh, that's not a bad idea. And I got one right here. There we go, little razor. All right, so we're better prepared now for the next one. This is the Psycho Favia. I didn't request this one, so it's gonna be interesting to see what it is. I have to go all the way around. Interesting, that thing's just like very bizarre looking. All right, all right, all right, all right, Jason, I see picking up what you're putting down. And I guess we'll uh, cut off. Oh, this is tedious to do on video. I'm gonna have to do some cutting, some, some cutting of footage. All right, there's the Psycho Snowblind. That's kind of interesting. I don't know, I don't know what that is at all. Oh, oh, this is an acro. This is a nice little baby blue acro. I think I might have requested this. Look at that beautiful, like a thick, thick branched, uh, little smooth skin coral. I'm go ahead and get him out of there. Oh, I need new razors. Obnoxious. That's fun. Look at that. Fun little coral. Snow blind acro. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, go ahead and put you down there. Um, Steve Garrett says this is one that I already have. Like I said, this is a really, like, really nice style of resin. And you know, for all you guys that are just chasing, uh, let's see, Jawbreaker Shrooms, Rainbow Chalices, and Rainbow Tenuous, man, you are missing out because that is a stunner of a coral. Very hardy to keep, and it'll take pretty much about as much light as you can throw at it. Ugh, man, that you really have to pull off that that rubber band. This is the rainbow stylo. You can kind of see it. It's got some nice pink and some green, green polyps. Frankie's gumdrops. I'm gonna guess that this is a monopora, but I'm not super sure. There we go. About to find out. Gumdrops, gumdrops. That could be a stylo. No, this is a funky acro. A little funky acro bit right here. All right, all right. Goodness, this, this part is annoying. <laughs> Comes right off though, afterwards. All right, what else? So this is a bug out. This, I believe this is also a Stylophora. Like, I don't even care, man. I'll take five different varieties of pink stylo because as a hardcore collector, you just know that there's gonna be some variability among them. So I think this is a original or a unique strain to um, Jason Fox. And I think he especially cut these for me like two or three weeks ago, right before all the snowstorms started happening. Oh yes, love my stylos. Got another stylo, we're about halfway through now, I think. Next X, Project X. <laughs> Yet another Stylophora. Very fun. I think uh, after this, I'm gonna pretty much have the uh, the Pasolopora Day uh, on lock. I think I already have this coral from him. I just didn't, I forgot that that's what it was. But once again, I don't really mind at all having um, some doubles of certain corals. It's actually really fun to have duplicates because then you can see how it grows differently in different tanks. Very nice. And you'll notice like, you know, these corals, are, these corals are good size, they're luscious, they're not microscopic, we're not using the macro lens to show you these. Very, very nice, very nice. All right, I forgot to, yellow rim leptocera. So this is definitely gonna be a funky low light coral here. Oh, come on. Very beautiful. Very unique, very different coral. Get a good view of that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, okay. Gonna have to find a nice low light spot for this guy, but I don't really have too many low light tanks or areas. Ooh, this is a small colony, man. Holy crap. Fun, a very well defined Leptoceras. Good chunk. And then, all right. Oh, here's a really different one. I think this is new to him. 
And again, this is not gonna get the most likes and shares and comments on Instagram, but uh, the diehard coral collector recognizes that that is a very unique, you can see like the metallic green tips to the tentacles on this hide no. So, I, you know, I count this among, this is at least the third very unique strain of Hydnophora that Jason Fox has really brought to the aquarium hobby after the, the limelight and another one, I think it's a blueberry or something. Go ahead and stick him right there. Getting down, we got the Enchanted Forest. So this is a really cool, like a green on green. Um, what is it? Uh, kind of a thick branch bird's nest, but it's got just all kinds of different shades of green. And I do believe this is one he also collected. I've had this one before and I wasn't doing too good on my reefing skills. There we go, I'm getting the hang of pulling off these rubber bands. There we are, green on green bird's nest. And as it grows, it will really develop like into its own unique characteristics. Three more to go. We've got the orange rim Leptoceris. Not really sure what this is. Probably another super low light coral right there. Yeah. Very fun, very different type of Leptoceris. This is one of those corals that has very subtle features. So um, you just kind of really have to enjoy some, some of those more cryptic corals. There we go. Pop him down in here. Got a few left, two more. Green Mango, this is an acro that I specifically asked for. I saw it featured in Coral Magazine and I was like, hey, Jason, can you toss a piece in there? Yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh man, you know what I really like is like you know it's a it's a small frag, but you could it's big enough that you can tell what it is, right? That you don't have to like scratch your head and wait months for it to turn into something. So, boop. I'm gonna have to do a a, a separate video, kind of rating the the shipping of of different vendors. Last. I don't know if it's least, I actually don't know. I can't say but least. And we have one more hiding for it, but I know Jason ain't sending me no bunk, normal hide nose. One more. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, wow. This one's really interesting. It still, it kind of has like the, the colorful tentacle thing going on like the other one, but the valleys in between the hydnophores are pretty much gone. So, all right, pull that off, pop it in there. Okay, just gonna do a little cleanup and uh, we're gonna take a look at the corals that we got. All right, so it might not look like much sitting in this uh, three to five gallon Liz, Lee's Critter Keeper, but there are some really fun, enjoyable corals in here. Now that we got them in the water, I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of tour before we put them away. So I think right here, this is the Australian Hobby Frag, the uh, Frankie's Gumdrop, I wanna say. This one right here looks like um, the Steve Garrett Stylophora. Um, this is the Bug Out. This is the Project X, and there's the Enchanted Forest uh, Bird's Nest. It's got a really nice encrusted base, so that should be able to hit the ground running pretty well. Um, these are gonna be super fun. They're not gonna look great until I get them into a tank and let them open up, but two different hide nose, probably of the encrusting plating type with really cool different uh, colored tentacles. I think this is what they're calling the uh, Snowbird Acro. Um, Another, maybe like this is the Rainbow, Rainbow Stylo, and a little freaky Favio. This was the, uh, the green mango acro that I actually requested. And a couple unique cryptic orange rimmed Leptoceris. But that is a really nice assortment of corals. And all the colors you see here are without any kind of orange filter. Oh, sorry, are we rolling? I was just admiring some of the beautiful corals. 
uh, I just got from Jason Fox. It's actually really cool to be able to reach out with, uh, you know, a, to a fellow reefer that I have a lot in common with because we both have a lot of respect and appreciation for oddball corals, like, you know, really different varieties of Poslopora, Seriatopora bird's nest, just oddball uh, hydnophoras that are never going to make the top of the list of Instagram, but are really unique for people who, collectors who have a wide variety of oddball corals. Um, the stylos, the bird's nest, a couple acros, and the two hide nose and the two orange rim leptoceras are gonna be really, really fun. So I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna um, do a close up of these corals at the end of the video. Um, but in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions about the corals or ordering corals online, go ahead and pop those in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later, guys.